All right. Uh, and for the record, you... I do have them written down. <laughs> what did you put his to? He'll find that eventually. <laughs> All right. So you're Googling uh, Dr. Helena Sinclair? Yeah. And any kind of uh, contact number to call her up on. So no contact number. Although there are a couple of things. Just let me finish talking. I'd rather pitch ideas as you're like before you've finished explaining everything. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's not a please, great way to do it. <laughs> uh, so Dr. Helena Sinclair hosts a virtual lecture lecture series on quantum physics where you can attend via Zoom or whatever you think it should be on. I don't care. Um, and engage in a Q&A session. Um, so that is one way you can sign up for it. Um, quick question. I believe it is the 24th. Am I correct? Technically, it's the 23rd because we haven't slept yet. Okay, so it's the 23rd. It's still the 23rd. 23rd, yep, that's January 23rd, 23rd, 2024. Uh, the next lecture is on Thursday. So it's in two days. And what's what's it on? Quantum physics. Because she's a quantum physicist. Like, quantum physics is like a very broad field. Is there anything specific? Specifically, uh, the frozen wasteland of quantum physics. Yeah, cryokinesis, perhaps. Uh, so the title of the next lecture is Quantum Realms Unveiled, Navigating the Shadows of Perception. Oh, perfect. I've got an idea. Yeah, but I... where are we going to get a buffalo head? We'll table that one for now. Okay. I have a different idea. Okay, go ahead. So she's got this online lecture, right? I'm sure it's not just raise your hand, ask a question. There's got to be like a... People are probably using the chat feature the entire time, right? She may not read it immediately. But most of the time that gets saved after it's ended. We could leave like a brief note in oh, her yeah. chat section a death threat and no. then <laughs> what what no like we're looking for rachel thornton oh uh, we yeah i this guess we where we're at too. ask for this person uh, oliver why does your mind go straight to a death threat he's probably gotten a lot of them well n no they, they or does definitely... he has he given a lot of them well, they definitely get their, like, you know, their attention, and then it's like, ha, ah, you know, unless you are threatening their life, then that gets different, but if... if... No, no, your, your idea, I'm sure, will work just fine. Okay. I mean, it's worth a shot. Leave an email, leave where we're at, leave one of us as a contact person, not Oliver. You guys have cell service? There's probably one tower out here. <laughs> I've got a few bars, I'm assuming, while I'm in town. Yeah, the, ta the town would have like a single cell tower, wouldn't I've it? Got, I've got the international coverage plan thing. I don't know, whatever. We also have say. satellite phones. Yeah, I was going to say, don't we have satellite something? Why don't we leave the number of one of our satellite phones and leave that line open. And then we also leave, like... I mean, she's gotta be local if she's writing about all of this stuff. So, like, Nahani Lodge, ask for... Tom. Well, I just figured one of us, but... Well, Tom doesn't do anything. He'll be around to take a call. If we're not around. Well, I meant, like, if it's... Like, for here, and she comes in person. 
Ah, she could ask for one of us specifically so that we know instead before she's like i'm elena sinclair because i know i don't always introduce myself when i first go hi i kind of go hi i'm looking for this person I don't know. Whatever. Very good. Anyway, no buffalo heads. Oh, no problems. We'll keep our options open. All right. Anyone else might have answers. Where did we find the second frozen handprint? You didn't find a second one. Oh, I mean, technically you did. No, that but... was at the bar and the bar. or the pub and the hotel, right? Yeah. yeah, the hotel was the one where you saw it like form. Uh, at the uh, bar, you didn't see it form, but you saw it. Uh, you but saw the only ones that... the look of it afterwards. Who saw what... which which ones? Um, you. There was a couple in the pub and a couple in the lodge. Charlie and Victor happened. saw the one in the lodge. Yeah. Charlie, Victor, and Maxine, I think, all saw the lodge one. Uh, yeah. And then it was everyone except for Wyatt and Victor saw the one at the bar. Right. Actually, I don't know if Frankie was there. Were you with them at that point? Yeah, I think Frankie was there. Yeah, they might have been. I've got All pictures right. of the footprints. Oh, then yeah, it was. Uh, they were there, and this was at night, right? Yeah. Nope. Uh, I the thought night, it was. The night one was at the lodge. The, it was not nighttime. It was five a.m. at. Um. Wait, I thought you no, said no, no, no. We, we went to we went time. to the pub after, like, at the end of day. No, I know, but you didn't see the handprint until the next day at 5 a.m. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh no, we saw, who saw the eyes? Uh, Charlie. Okay, right. Okay, and we just saw the you... flickering, the flickering lights. All right, did these events not take place at roughly the same time? They took place probably about five minutes apart. Okay. Because yeah, once once the eyes appeared, wow, that's really bad. <laughs> Sorry. Once the eyes appeared, Charlie booked it out of the pub, and then chased towards the lodge. Uh, when the lights came back on, um, you guys left the pub as well and went back to the lodge. Um, Wyatt had gone to bed at that point and probably just a little while after that while you guys were talking he saw the handprint appear on the window gotcha and the eyes only uh, charlie saw those at okay. the bar oh gotcha was the library or the antiquities or the grocery store open at that time at that time no okay so it's not likely anyone else saw anything at that time correct The town pretty much shuts down here at around 5, 5.30-ish. Okay. okay, so what time of day is it right now? Uh, Right now? Probably about noonish. Or sorry, no. Probably be about... No, you guys snuck in. So yeah, it'd probably be about noonish. I was like... It... The appointment that was open was at 1.30, so... But no, you guys snuck in before that appointment, so... Okay, so can we... Either Frankie or myself go to see a lot... Like, go to the grocery store and maybe talk to Eliza? If you want to. I'm not gonna yeah. stop you. I'm just thinking that... Perhaps one of us can do that. Or... Yeah. Because we still haven't been to the Antiquities place. I'm trying to think of like hit places that we haven't. Because Frankie and Victor, that that's the police station now that they've dealt with. 
and then uh i mean do we tr- really think it's necessary to hit most of the places if we have a gist of what's going on here well maybe there's something yeah. that rachel told eliza that would give us a little clue as to why she was taking soil samples uh maybe the fact that she was a researcher yeah but what exactly are you looking for in the soil at that spot well like, she's looking into this whole shadow realm thing mm-hmm. she was probably hoping the soil would have some sort of answer yeah because like she's essentially trying to figure out what it takes to interact with the shadow realm and if we get an idea of what it does take for the shadow realm to interact with us maybe we can disrupt it so that we can actually take a deeper look in that cave so yeah like if we could figure out what she was looking for in that soil saddle maybe that'll uh, give us a little clue as to where we should head to next well the other thing too it's like so we got away from whatever it was in the cave like in the so it's like are we interested in looking back around that area now that it's date like now that it's like not i got a fresh bite near my neck no i don't feel like going back there and neither should you okay no 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 but it's like i also have a drone that yeah i've got a drone biting what what So it, it's like, are we wanting to check out that area? It's like, I'm trying to figure out what our next... Well, if we go... Is like, if the go thing's ahead. only out at night... Yeah. It's in a cave. Inside of a cave, it's like permanently night. True. So it's probably just gonna hole up in there instead of coming out and strolling around town Mm -hmm. so I mean we could probably check around it I don't know how safe going back in would be necessarily but we'd be safe as long as we don't go in like Keeper how like how uh, easy to maneuver is like I don't know much about like besides knowing that I have a drone it's like how if it's low enough it should be fine yeah. You're just and not going assuming... to go up into the trees with it or anything. That's not going to... Yeah, because it's like, I've never flown a drone or anything. I've just seen, like, on TV, but, like, personally. So it's like, I don't know all the capabilities of a drone. They're not that hard to maneuver. I mean, right. they can take camera footage, so... And can they... And it's oh. like, as, as it gets into the dark, it's like, I'm assuming some of them have some capability of night vision or no? Who are you I'm asking looking. that to? I'm Maybe. asking whoever knows, like Keeper, I guess. D- is her drone equipped with some kind of infrared or night vision? Oh. Um, probably. Most cameras are at this point, like with night vision, not infrared, yeah. but... Cool. How thick is the forest? It's like, it would, pretty thick. It I would say five like seas. Amazon, it wouldn't be like an Amazon canopy where you can't like plunge straight down between trees. It wouldn't be that bad, although there yeah. are there would be some pockets that have that. So the well, thing with but... drones is, depending on their use, some of them are specifically infrared cameras. No, I know. Yeah, but as Frankie was saying, it's like. Like, if we're not going into the cave, it's like we could, with Victor and Charlie, go to the outside and, like, like we're not going inside, but it's like we'd be able to fly it in there. But it's like, I don't know if all of us need to be there or what, but it's like just to kind of see. My concern would be it going the way of our flashlights and just tumbling into the darkness. Okay. Also that, yeah. Uh, drones can be a recoverable expense. Like, in the end, most drones only cost a few hundred. Yeah. We'll tie uh, a little fishing line to it so we can <laughs> give us live video feed of it. 
and even if the video gets line. corrupted, we could try recording the video feed it gives us. So then Ooh. the recording of a recording might not get corrupted. Are we interested in doing that? Or it's like, because it's like, I know it was kind of a freak out session for everybody. And because besides no, no, go ahead. Oliver, who, was... who got hurt, hurt. I mean, Charlie got hurt, Charlie. hurt too. Charlie and Oliver. Charlie has okay. the majority of his body frostbitten. But I'm just security. Nobody cares. <laughs> no, no, no. But it, oh, have did we take Charlie to the hospital? What did we do? Yeah, with yeah. They both went yeah. to the hospital. Okay. Okay. I couldn't remember. But... I was just as hurt as Charlie. You, you are, are Charlie. Charlie. You are Charlie, so Oliver. I agree. Okay. <laughs> You're right. You were just as hurt as Charlie. It's amazing, isn't it? Crazy. Okay. Next. But that's what I'm saying. My it's... damage came because somebody decided to hit me with an axe. Hey, I, I said that oh. was an accident. <laughs> they they were just an trying accident. to. Yeah. Would you rather I let the ice eat you? They were just trying to, well, somewhat help you, but in an odd way. Maxine, when, when I stepped out in front and started shooting the beast, it was uh, a brave and heroic thing, and I just wanted you to know that. I'm just, I'm going to just place my hand on his shoulder and say, thank you, Oliver. That was mm -hmm. very brave of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I, I don't, that's, we do have, we do have, <laughs> it's okay. no, but we do have Oliver, not Oliver, we do have Charlie have and Victor. Always. Well, um, <laughs> I don't want I don't want you putting yourself at risk for 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 you it's not a problem okay well <laughs> but we do have these two security that that that's what they were here they're here for and it's like I don't want you to put yourself in jeopardy Oliver it's like you know we've got Charlie we got Victor and they both have years of experience and this kind of thing. And it's like, I'd hate to see you get hurt, Oliver. It's like, you're, you're oh. such a special part of our team. Mm, so, you're correct. So I'm just gonna, but thank you. I'm just gonna like pat him on the shoulder. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. what you mm -hmm. bring to the table. And I look yeah. over at Charlie. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so do we want it? Do we want to do the drone thing? Or yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Frankie. It's like we're we're the ones that are trying to do the investigating here. It's like what what are your thoughts? It's like what do you think is our best route as well? Well, it's I think it's worth a shot right now. The only things we have to even back what we saw are the photos that I took. So with your yeah a chance we can. Get, get a little more yeah. footage yeah and since Wyatt's like stuck in his room right now or doesn't want to come down because of I don't know him pouting or whatever it's like at least maybe we can get something else and we can add it to extra footage like that if he got anything I don't think he got anything yeah I think it was yeah but this is something that we all saw so I think that that would be beneficial to the program now was it a problem with the camera not recording or the save being corrupted the files I think it was corrupted. Cor corrupted so if the camera was streaming to an outside source would that work like for the, the drone drones well we were... can record what it's recording yeah. So we'll the drone will be so recording can... full quality on board, but also streaming to the person using it what is going on at the same time. Okay. So what is being recorded and actually saved could be corrupted, but I'm thinking the same influence won't happen on our side. If we're okay. essentially recording the recording. Okay. So we right, can... Yeah. I'll call... If we hop in Victor's van... To where that's always at your disposal okay to where i will dispose of it to the well can we go to the woods 
Like how it's not that it's far, a right? Two hour hike. You cannot drive there. The drive to the forest edge down Albatross. The drive is one one second drive over this one. Yeah. We all pile in. We gotta save our strength for the journey. Bring some <laughs> snacks. Bring some snacks and Okay, so you're not wanting to go talk to Eliza then? I yeah. I think we'll yeah. It's like There's plenty of day left before we go on our tour tomorrow. And and maybe too it's like we want to talk to Dr. Redmond Redwood before uh we talk to Eliza because I don't know. Because it's like, I don't know whether she's had any success with find like, obviously she hasn't had any success with finding Rachel. Well, neither is Dr. Redwood either, but that we know of. But I just, I feel like we'll get a little more info from him, perhaps, as to what she was working on and everything. Is that the general consensus or? Yeah, probably. Yeah. And I am curious about what's going on in the woods. This is something I've never come across before. We want to go back there this surly. Like, my my bite wound is still cold. Then stay here. If you want to stay I, back, no. Oliver, it's okay. I can't let you go alone. Yeah, but we got Charlie. We got Charlie and Victor. It's like, yeah, if you want to stay back at the lodge, it's like, it's fine, Oliver. I got Oliver. bit with Charlie and Victor. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Okay. Okay. Um, Quickly, I'm also. Charlie, I'm going to need you to. I'm thinking that I might want to bring my gun as well. Does Frankie? Do you have anything or no? Got my oh, axe. besides your axe. Besides your axe. That's what I got. That's what I work with. Huh? Frankie's got a huge axe. Yeah, and Frankie was. <laughs> had no qualms about using it so they just throw it on their back they also have a pocket knife I, oh yeah i got a pocket knife or no i think i got the utility knife you you went with the multi-tool i think i went with the multi-tool nice okay. frankie's like i got this giant axe and i got this little utility knife <laughs> That's multi-tool multi-tool sorry Boom. it's a swiss army yeah. knife fork a spork <laughs> I added a fork. Yeah, um, they've attached they've attached it somehow to their axe. Got a bottle opener. <clears throat> yeah. Um I've got got a bottle bottle updates opener. this knife to her axe. Will it do there. more damage? No. Sorry, their axe. And now does six damage. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Also. Okay. So you guys are heading into the woods. Yes. I guess so. I'm gonna bring my gun. So you're I'm heading into the woods with no ours. sort of guide. Just going out there hoping for the best. Didn't we find going? didn't we find it ourselves before? The woods? Oh you're going yeah, in yeah. you're going to the cave. That's what you're talking yeah, about. We're just going back. Yeah, you didn't find going it yourself. You found area. you followed a trail. You followed okay. tracks. Oh well, okay. the tracks Everybody we made have... are like two hours old. So we should be able if to like, not, follow yeah, our if tracks. If it's not in. snowing, we can follow our tracks. I feel I'm like sure. we would be able to between keep, all keep of us. It's been snowing for hours. Has it been snowing? <laughs> no, it has not. Um, but and uh, everyone, let me just see here. Everyone change your cameras to be picture mode instead of video so it all can't get corrupted oh, again. Mine's been strobing this whole time. Yeah, because I mentioned it to our group earlier. <laughs> It's like, oot, 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 oot. Yeah, That's the meeting stroke. with Edmund was very awkward. <laughs> Remember, um, there's no flash, so he wouldn't know. Oh, never mind. I, I feel like there needs to be. Okay, so just following, on, just on only following tracks is apparently investigate a mystery. Okay. So, okay. Uh, that is sharp. Who is going to roll for investigate a mystery? Are we, are we going for highest roller? No, just who wants to roll? Who's who's taking the lead? I have plus two sharp. Okay, who's taking the lead? Now, That's all I'm asking. 
Okay, do you still have me, a plus one for not doing as I asked? He didn't get that. No, that would have been a plus one if I did do as you asked. Okay. Oh, that's my sharp. I got a plus two to sharp. I got a plus well. two as well. Okay. And it's just plus Are we one. We all the exact same character. <laughs> it's just plus no. one once. And no, <laughs> you're all different characters. You just picked very uh, similar. Your, your stats aligned weird? quite well. It is no. plus no. one once, but I haven't rolled yet. I'm today. farming. All right, cool. Go so ahead. let's give it to Charlie because he has sure. a plus two sharp. Yeah. So does Maxine. Yeah. All right, cool. So he'll have a plus three essentially. I'm just asking who's taking the lead. I don't care. Yeah. Go ahead. He, Charlie he does not have do a it. plus one. He's got a plus three. He has three to his sharp. No, no it's plus two because I don't have the forward. And with what? a plus two, it's ten. He doesn't have forward because he didn't do he got what ten. you asked. Yes, he I got rolled an eight plus two, Mitchell. Matt, wait, Mitchell. Madison. Sorry, he usually hurt. when I'm getting angry at someone, it's Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. Anyway. Okay, he did ten. Okay, so that means you get two. Nice. Uh, so you get to hold two. Um, what happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can hurt it? Where did it go? Where is it? What was it going to do? Or what is being concealed here? Now, because you're looking at tracks, I'm just going to go ahead and give you where did it go? Um, <laughs> and you follow your tracks from this morning. Okay. For two hours. You're not going into the Nani Valley. I thought you were going to. Uh, I thought you were going into the Nani Valley. You're just going no. to where the monster was. That's with Edmund Keeper. Yeah, Edmund. Fine, fine. I understand. Jeez, I get it. I thought you were taking <laughs> the drone into the woods. No, um, we're we here. Wanna, we want to drive want... the drone into the cave. Yes, that's like the goal. Fly and the drone. The cave. Yes. Okay. Drive it quick on wheels. <laughs> that's why I was no. asking. Um, no, we're wanting. To, we're wanting to see. Moon rover. Does cold affect the drone? That'd be a question for uh, uh, Charlie because I don't really know oh. drones all that well. Shorter Only in temperature. Life. Shorter well, battery. Uh, okay. Depending on it, if it's a higher quality drone, essentially it will sit there idling and heat itself up before it actually does anything. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say I feel like I I would have a good quality drone. Yeah. yeah, for taking pictures of, like, uh, infidelity. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so essentially it will just sit there humming and not really turn on and warm itself up. So it because as have when we had gone in in the morning, it had gotten colder as we went in, correct? It that gets was colder what? and colder, yeah. 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 It's, okay. It might not heat itself enough to account for getting really cold in there, but it, it won't hurt. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so... You okay. head out to the cave. Uh, it's about yeah. a 45 minute walk that you guys went on. Okay. Um, and as you get to the cave, um, you get a different feel this time. Like it's not creepy. Uh, before you had like a weird sense of dread a little bit yeah um this time you go there and it's like oh we're we're in the woods cool um but this time it's not happening hmm. all right maxine fly your drone in there Okay, so Maxine, I guess <laughs> Maxine starts taking it out uh, and sets it up and takes out her control panel and starts flying it in. It has a little bit of a display screen on it. I forgot how fun this is to try to fly this drone. Is Maxine not there? She just stepped out for a second. Okay, well... <laughs> The best best drone flying I've ever, ever ever done. Well, 
there be a roll to see if the drone crashes? Sorry, it was coffee. <laughs> It's like, if that's how I sound, just, that's horrible. <laughs> Oliver was intrigued. <laughs> okay, what happened? Sorry, I'm flying my drone. You're flying the drone into the cave. Where are you going? Okay. Just following the same path you guys took I'm before? just kind of, yeah, trying to see. It's like, and I'm assuming that you guys would be helping me to, like, recognize different uh, mm -hmm. markers. markers that... All right, you'll you'll have like the screen and the controls in front of you, and I'll have like my hands on your shoulders, just kind of looking over the over your shoulder um, and like lightly uh, massaging. No, all of it. You're doing very Oliver, good. No, no, no. It's like I'm no, no, actually no, no, I'm no, actually attention. struggling a bit here, trying to keep my thumbs like. Shh, you're actually shh, just shh. no, just uh, uh no, I uh, no, I'm okay. I'm just gonna give him like a little shake off. It's like just give me yeah, thanks. I just, I just need a, just need a minute to, there, okay, that's a bit better. Thank you. How about you just watch to see, like, do you recall any of these things here? It's like, you know. No, oh. no. Oh, that's where I got pinned and bit. There's a bit of blood on the ground there. Ooh. That's not nice. Uh, um, what are we getting for readouts on our side where the... Where we're recording, out of here. Good. It looks like a cave. You're going through. It's the same stalagmites, stalactites that you were walking through before. But everything no, is no recording. Issues, though, is yeah. Like everything's everything's recording, recording. No okay. problem. Okay. Oh, we keep we keep flying. Whatever. You end so up going, I don't know what a going is. to the room where uh, Charlie had been taken. Um, and nothing here. So we're not seeing anything at all? There's no... Uh... Other than your guys' footprints from earlier, you see nothing. There's no marking besides, like, Oliver's blood that was on the... Like, there's no other marks of the creature? So the only thing you would see additional... Yeah. Is where... Uh, the ice had come from the wall to pierce into some people. It's still yeah. there. The ice is piercing into the wall. No, it's from pierced. Wall, it had basically. pierced into people, but from it came out of the wall. Okay. Or out of the ground as well. I think at one point. Can we kind of like get a a close up of that area or no? Like I don't know how detailed the drone is or how yeah like what their camera you can fly like. closer to it but it's there's still nothing it just looks like ice it That's looks kind of unnatural because why would ice form like that but it's just ice okay right. so can we go a little bit further or, or is that not able to the next pathway leads you back out the front of the cave oh it's like a U. So it was two pathways leading to this one uh, kind of uh, oval shaped room. Um, yeah. And then, yeah. And then of. back out the other way. Yeah. Okay. Charlie, Charlie, I need, I need Judith. Charlie. He's asking for Judith. Chuck. I need Judith. We haven't seen anything on camera, have we? No. No. I'm going in. You'll give it back before we go back into town? Yeah. I'll go in with him. I'm sure Oliver will keep his word. Right, Oliver? I'll give him his gun. Okay. <laughs> All right. Did you have it in your hand off camera? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> the moment I, I, I said, I was, I was like, it's here. <laughs> I've been fidgeting. <laughs> Just like his real character. I got my flashlight out. Oh, Frank, he's going in with him? Yeah, I'll tag along. Okay, and as I'm they're gonna... going, 
Sorry, go ahead. I think we'll we'll keep the drone going, like following them too. So it's like if anything happens. All right. So is either Charlie a... or Victor going with them? Oh, I imagine <laughs> Charlie. No, no, they got it. <laughs> imagine Charlie's with them. Is Charlie going if with not, them? If not, Victor would be with them. Yeah, I'll Who's go going with them. Okay. All right. What are you guys? What are you guys hoping to gain out of this? What's the plan? Here? Okay. So as we go down, I like. Riddle me this, Charlie. If there was nothing to protect in here, why would they send that thing to attack us at all? Why would the thing appear? So let's go uh, check out what that uh, uh, that oval room. Okay. So you guys walk down the hallways a little bit. Um, and Does she you... have an answer to that? Or is it? Are you saying Frankie or Charlie? I said Frankie. You said Charlie the first time. Charlie, Charlie. Oh, sorry, I said Frankie. Yeah, you said Charlie. Meant Frankie. Uh, what was the question? Now, if there was nothing to protect or hide in this cave, why would that thing appear to us at all, you think? Uh, probably because we followed it. False. Lizard people. And I keep going. You do know they're not real, right? Oh, oh, so saith the non-believer. And he keeps going. Okay, so you continue following down this corridor. Um, you're walking for about, I'd say, three, three to five minutes based on your speed. I don't know how fast you're walking. Um, I'm walking normal. Okay. And you get to this room, cautious and all you see uh, for like remnants is the footprints that you guys left earlier, and the base of the ice that was around uh, Charlie. Gotcha. Now, can I investigate a mystery in this area here? Uh, sure. What are you trying to find out? Um, look for anything unnatural like besides the ice formations um if there needs to be some kind of physical like device or material needed to interact with the shadow play what what we're calling the shadow realm like if uh if there's like an actual physical device needed to manipulate the fabric of space. All right, just roll for sure. That makes then. sense. Yep. Right, cool. Um, I'm gonna got... just start taking some photos of every, like whatever remnants are in the cave. So okay. that's a nine. Nine. So you get to pick one of the questions. What happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can hurt it? Where did it go? What was it going to do? And what is being concealed here? What is being concealed here? I was really hoping you weren't going to ask that because it's a very <laughs> easy answer for me. Nothing. It's nothing. Ah! You see what you see. The most obvious one. Because <laughs> we already asked the other questions last time. And we deduced that the creature that we attacked and attacked us back actually wasn't was probably not alive but just like these uh ice spires that grew from the wall and attacked us was that english that's what we deduced right I don't think you guys rolled to investigate a mystery last time. I think they were mainly read a bad situation. Um, but I, I don't know if you had deduced that it wasn't real, like or wasn't alive. Well, it, wa it wasn't. Yeah, I thought that's. Well, how else would I have that conclusion currently? I don't know. Because you're crazy. I don't remember that being talked about. And I, well, I did really listen it wasn't, to the last Because we, we shot the creature, Frankie hit the creature, it knocked ice off, it still kept moving and all that stuff. 
We didn't do big damage to it, but we did damage to it. Does anybody else want to try and investigate something? I'm outside. It's no, only Charlie. No, I wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't asking you. It was Charlie or Frankie. And both of them are playing phone games. What role is the... Um... Is it sharp? It's sharp? Yeah. For investigative sharp. mystery. Unless you have yeah. something that makes it something else. Um... Um, I mean, I don't know if it will help us in this, but I could do it anyway. What is it? Do it. Um, can I use oops? If I want to stumble across something important, tell the keeper. You'll find something important and useful, although not necessarily related to your immediate problems. <laughs> so I would like to stumble across something important. Hmm. I, I'm not looking into anything. I'm in here to just in case shit hits the fan. Okay, so basically, while uh, Frankie is wandering around, huh? Okay, I have to think about this for a second. Because I, I have things for in here, but I don't know how it would be something like you just stumble across. Like, oops. Um, does it help if I'm like going around and looking at everything and well, I'm you're, trying you're to get going like, photographs? And... Yeah, you're already going around taking pictures, so that's fine. It's just I gotta kind of think of how it's something that you can stumble across, which it, it's your power. Uh, so it's fine. I just gotta can I, for two seconds. Can I use one of my hold one from my connect the dots earlier to help this out then? Or uh, it's just a thing I have. I don't what, know. Yeah, it's just something that uh, they automatically get. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um. What what are those things from your earlier one? What were you oh, hoping well, to no, ask? No. If, she, if, she, if, she, if this is something that she automatically gets in this. Yeah, I didn't say I had to roll anything. No, you don't have to roll anything. Cool. Let me read this here. Um, so, I, sorry, was somebody about to say something or did I just hear an echo of my own voice? You may have just heard an echo. Okay. <laughs> um, as you're walking around and, I don't know, maybe you don't want to be here. You're kind of like dragging your feet around and you're making like pathways in the snow. Something fun for you to do while you're bored in this cave. Keeps and, me entertained. <laughs> Uh, uh, you stumble upon a leather bound book Ooh. buried deep in the snow as you pick it up as well it is Coated in ice. 
Um, am I able to open it or is it like frozen? No, shut? it's like it's like in a. I don't want to say in an ice cube because that seems weird, but like in. It's ice. totally in an ice cube. Sure. It's in the equivalent of an ice cube, I guess. An um, ice block. I'm gonna just try and I guess dust the front of the block off and see if I can make out like any writing on the front of the journal right now uh there's no writing on the front of it it's just a book okay sure. hmm. cool. um, I freaking knew it what did you know that there was a thing in here for sure that was all me for sure. Uh huh. Um, I'm going to head outside where it is warmer because there is sunshine outside. And less crazy. And try and melt my book. I'm following for sure. Okay, uh, Charlie, you're going with him as well. No, they they can just die from this point on. Yes, I'm going <laughs> to go with them. I feel like I would at least tell Charlie that I'm heading out. That's the whole reason he's there is because we went in. Yeah. As long as someone's in the cave, I'll be sticking with them. Okay. Hey. So you guys leave the, leave the cave. Uh, and the rest of the party, the you're, you see them leave. They come out. We have the, the drone following them, right? So it's like we saw... Everything. What Frankie picked up, correct? Um, you probably would have seen that I picked I, something. I up. don't know that you had the drone following them because the drone came back out and then that's when they went in. No, 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 but no, because when Frankie went in, I said that it was going to be following them, like yeah. if there was anything else happening. But maybe I wasn't focused in what Frankie was doing. I was wandering around a bit, so I'm not 100% sure if you would have been super focused on yeah. me. Cause I was... Anyway, it doesn't really matter. They it come out matter. with a book. They've got a book. So what did you... Can you get it open, Frankie, or no? Is it, is it, it so frozen icy? Solid. I'm trying to right. melt it. Alright. In the sun. Alright, I get on my phone and Google what's the best way to thaw out a frozen book without wrecking it. Kind uh, of what I'm doing right now. Okay. I'll just give it to you guys. It's fine. I'm, I was just getting stuff ready here. Okay. So, um, as you thaw it out, it start, begins to thaw as you're wandering around. I don't know if you're staying in one place waiting for it to thaw, but just keeping it out while you're walking back. Um, and one, are you going back to the lodge now? Is that what you're doing? I would think we're at least heading back to town. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, there's nothing to see here besides that. Okay, so as you are heading back to town, slowly but surely it's starting to have ice fall off of it. Uh, you're kind of chipping at it with just with the edge of your uh, the back end of your axe a little bit as well just to like utility knife it's fine I can use that oh, yeah, just shave off the ice yeah um, I'm just gonna do some ice whittling use the spork perfect <laughs> uh, anyway you managed to get enough off that you are able to open it um, and the dates go back about a year and a half it's a diarrhea. And the first, not first entry, but you're not reading the whole thing. 
because I'm not giving you the whole thing. Um, you have not written out an entire year's worth of diary? No. So, Elias and I delving into the mysteries of Nahani Valley for our book. Uh, strange occurrences persi persist. Shadows moving with an unsettling sentience. It's as if the landscape itself is alive, watching us as we document its secrets. Uh, and then the next one is a couple weeks before her disappearance. Latent observations reveal unsettling red eyes in the woods. Elias shares my unease. Could this be the elusive force we've been documenting? The book might be taking a darker turn, uncovering more than just geological oddities. Day of Disappearance The valley holds a peculiar energy, a connection to the shadows we've been chasing. Elias cautions against solo exploration, but I feel drawn to it. The red eyes, the whispers in the air, all converging towards an undiscovered truth. The book demands it. Then, there's another entry, after. Elias worries as I venture further. The shadows respond, revealing secrets I've long sought. The book must capture the essence of Nahani Valley. Even if I have to face its mysteries alone, there's a story here waiting to be told, and I'll be the one to reveal it. And then there's no more entries after that. So that last entry was after disappearing? Correct. Geological. Well... I think Elias knows more than he's told the police. So maybe it's a good thing we're meeting with him. <laughs> or hopefully. Edmund will find him. Well, he says he's come across him, so that makes sense. Well, that doesn't mean so... he's going to tomorrow. Where no, are we but it's to like take he this? might have into the woods like <laughs> the entire woods no just the hundred oh. acre <laughs> yeah a hundred acre wood no because it's like we talked to him about and he said he'd come across him so it's like he should be able to give us a yes. like a general idea like a, rather than just randomly going through the woods looking for him excellent well, what's it about one o'clock? I'm bushed. <laughs> it it is a bit later into the day. It's not just one o'clock. Um, so you guys are going to, I assume, head home or head to the lodge and yeah. get prepared for the next day. I assume. I don't know. Like yes. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Okay. So you guys head back to the lodge. Um, update Tom with your latest discoveries. And go to bed before you wake up early in the morning tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're going to call it tonight. I will drink my moon wine. Tonight. You're drinking your moon why wine not? tonight? Yeah, my, why not? All right. Okay. Uh, everyone. I uh, hope you have a great night and um, I don't know if we will see you next week, but we'll see you next video for sure. All right. Mm -hmm. See you guys. Namaste. Bye. Bye. <laughs>